All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we have some great news to go over. That's right. Uh, Belk, the department store company that had stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Florida, uh, the chain has officially been able to exit bankruptcy in just one day. Uh, that is record-breaking uh, for a company, especially uh, like Belk, and especially like a department store. Uh, we've never seen this happen where the company has entered bankruptcy and then exited bankruptcy, especially during the global pandemic. Uh, this is a very rare and a very, very, very significant event. Uh, a lot of jobs today uh, were just saved today. Um, but there is a catch, of course, with everything, you know, yay bankruptcy, but there's going to be a catch, and I will explain that uh, after we read the article. So, JCK posted an article, I know it just sounds like JCPenney, uh, Belk enters and exits in one day. On February 24th, 2021, department store chain Belk filed for bankruptcy in the Texas federal court, but emerged from the process one day later with a prepackaged reorganization that it will keep most of its operations intact. The 133 year old Charlotte, North Carolina based chain number base chain numbers 291 stores in 16 southern and eastern states. It first announced its plan to seek bankruptcy in early January. Belk was able to sail through the process since its reorganization plan had already won the support of lenders holding 99% of the company's first lean-in term loans, and 100% of its second term loans. The reorganization will have no impact on employees and will keep all Belk stores open according to a company statement. It will also wipe out $450 million of debt from the company's book and provide $225 million in new capital for growth in, in autos. In the first day filing, Chief Officer William Lange said that Belk had been long... Had been long I'm sorry. While Belk had been long copying with a challenging commercial environment caused by the swift online shopping it had taken on a solace in its manageable liquidity cushion and was was protective pro, and i'm sorry proactively uh taking steps to right size its operation and further improve the long-term health of its balance sheet that disrupt that that was disrupted by the covid 19 pandemic which wrecked a havoc of retailers, literally resulting in a complete pause of all-in-person shopping. Largely wrote, Belk sales fell 32% last year over over year from the third week of March of 2020 through December of 2020. Langley argued the non-approval of the restructuring agreement could lead to significant disruption and uncertainty and could, potential, could potentially result in liquidation. Now approved, Belk said that the new cash infusion would allow the retailer to focus on e-commerce, which already generates over $1 billion in revenue. The new agreement calls for hedge funds seek, seek more partners to retain the majority control of Belk, which it purchased in 2015. The company's new funding will come from seek more as well as lending finan financers at KKR, Blackstone Credit, and its certain first lenders. So, um, this is good news. There's a couple of issues I do want to go over because obviously, yes, this sounds great. Yes, it sounds compelling. There's a couple of issues with this. And I think I want to go ahead and explain uh, some of those issues. First of all, KKR. L l let's just think about that one for a second. KKR was the company that also took on Toys R Us's debt. Uh, and Sigma Partners, they're, they're not great either. Um, it's not personally good that they're taking on the debt because eventually Belk will have to pay that back at some point. Um, but it is good news for the employees working at these stores. However, um, there is a possible, I'm sorry, there's a potential uh, that some of the lower performing Belk stores uh, could very well close because as it said in the article, they're going to focus on their e-commerce business. Well, if Belk is going to want to focus on their e-commerce business, then that, that means they're going to have to close some underperforming locations. Not all their locations, obviously. They're definitely going to keep on to the uh, top performing locations, but the lower performing locations, like I would say a Belk that's a C-, minus, that's probably going to close. Again, we don't know what's going to happen with Belk, but the good news is, for now, uh, Belk is safe. They're not in bankruptcy anymore. And personally, if you're looking at the two, Belk and Fry's Electronics, Belk, I guess, is a worth a lot more than Fry's Electronics. Um, I know I did a video on that yesterday, um, but I'm, I am glad that Belk was saved. And the other thing, too, is Belk was able to reopen a lot quicker. 
uh, given that the southern part of the United States opened up a lot earlier uh, than, say, the northern part uh, of the United States with the whole pandemic and restrictions. So Belk, I think, kind of benefited from that as well. Um, but it is, I am glad to see that they're coming in and saving it, but I don't think in the long run it's going to be helpful for Belk. I, I do think they could face some trouble going forward. But if they're able to invest in their e-commerce business and maybe close some underperforming stores, they might be okay. But again, uh, we don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have to wait and see. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And please make sure to check the link located in, in the description below for the article. So anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And that will be it.